With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, everyone. Let us start with our question. In this question, it is given that there is a lamina which is made by removing a small disc of of diameter 2R from a bigger disc of uniform mass density and radius 2R. So this is the bigger disc, okay, of radius 2R. Now here we are removing this portion. The radius of this portion would be equals to R. Now there is also a second similar disc is made, but instead of a hole, a disc of triple uh, density as of the first is filled in the hole. So here in this portion we are filling a uh, this uh, we can say that a uh, uh, material which is having a density which is three times. So for example, if here the density is sigma, so here it would be three sigma. Now what we need to find so if the center of mass in both the cases are r r one and r two respectively, we need to find what would be the value of two r two divided by r one. That means the center of mass in the second case divided by position of center of mass in the first case. Now clearly in both the figure we can see that center of mass would be lying on the y axis itself. Why? Because it is just a symmetric case. Okay, it would be lying on the y axis. Now in the first case we are removing the mass. So in we are first solving the first case, then we are removing the mass. So in this case the position of center of mass on the y axis is r1. And what would be the formula? Because when we are removing the mass, so the formula of the center of mass would be equals to, for example, m1 y1. Then minus m2 y2 divided by m1 minus m2. Now in case we are removing the mass, in case we are adding the mass, so here it would be positive. Now uh, where this uh, y1 and y2, these are the uh, uh, this uh, position of the center of mass uh, m1 and m2 respectively. Now what is our m1? So in terms of sigma, because we uh, we will be calculating in terms of sigma because the mass density is uniform. So sigma. So mass for any portion would be equals to sigma divided by uh, sorry sigma multiplied by the area. So for first mass, sigma is the uh, we just write here. It is mass per unit area. So mass would be equals to sigma into area. Now for the m1, so what is our mass? Mass would be sigma into what is the area? Area would be pi into 2r square. Pi into 2r square. Now what is the coordinate of the center of mass for this portion? Okay, so it would be at the origin itself for the full circle. For the full disk, so it would be zero minus. What would be the value of m2? Sigma into pi. What is the area of this portion? So the radius would be r. So it would be pi r square. This is the area, and where would be the center line? Center would be lying here at a distance of r from the origin. So we put the value as r. Now divided by divided by the sum of the masses. So sum of the masses sigma into pi uh, into two r square. That would be equals to four r square. So it is four r square. Then plus Sorry, minus because we are removing the mass, so it would be minus minus our m2. M2 we have written here sigma pi r square. So if we solve this, then our r1 would uh, would uh, we can get get the value of the r1. So it would turn out to be minus r divided by three. Minus indicate that here it would be r1 would be lying on the negative y axis. Now in this case, what we are doing? We are adding the mass. So in the case two, in the case two. Now what is this disk? This disc is basically we are we have put a disc of the mass uh, which mass density which is three times of sigma. Okay, this is the case. So what we can say we can just make our disc like this. So it would be a uniform sigma density. Then here it would be a uh, in the upper portion. Okay, in the diameter of two r in the upper portion, we can say that this is filled with a mass of density two sigma. Why? Because we are already considering uh, this so uh, this disc is small disc when when we uh, when we consider the whole of the disc. Okay, when we consider the whole of the disc, we are already considered this to be one time, and then it would be just two times sigma, which we need to add. Now uh, that means we are adding the mass. So in this position, our R two would be equals to m one y one plus of m two y two divided by m one plus of m two. Why plus sign? Because we are adding the mass. So what would be the value of m one? It would be sigma into two pi. Uh, uh, sorry, pi into r square. The radius square we just write once more. So pi into Uh, sigma uh, sigma pi into radius is 2r so 2r square would be equals to 4r square into y coordinate for this it would be at the origin itself so multiplied by 0 plus what would be our m2 m2 here the uh, mass density is 2 sigma now in the question it was given that 3 sigma but what we are considering we have consider one sigma while considering the whole disc itself into this figure okay we can consider this because if we just put this disc on to this disc itself So initially it was having a mass density sigma. Now if you put this onto this disc, so the combined would be two sigma plus sigma. That means three sigma. So we can say that it would be two sigma uh, into area would be equals to pi into r square, and the coordinate of the center. So
so the coordinate of center if we consider it would be equals to r divided by so divided by the total mass to so total mass would be sigma uh, m1 would be equals to pi into 4 r square plus here it is 2 sigma into pi into r square now if we solve this then our r2 would again turn out to be r divided by 3 now what we need to find we need to find the value of 2 r2 divided by r1 and in the mod now we can clearly see that r1 and r2 basically they both are equal okay so they this and this would get cancelled and it would be minus 2 why because our r1 value is negative r by 3 but we are taking the mod so it would be equals to 2 so the correct answer for this part it would be 2 hope you understood the solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today